Coming this spring to Wardy TV, The Caster Civil War. Are you as excited as I am? You actually can't wipe the smile off my face. I'm so excited for this. Easy peasy. Benny and the boys, the tight knit bunch. The Dread Knights gonna be up against the War Pigs. Okay, Team Serral. <laughs> Sorry, the War Pigs. And he's coming off the line to try and stop. Hero Marine, but you can't stop the tank top. GG. Just because you see them doesn't mean they're dead. Oh! That's what I got. Coming back are all of the memes and all of the dreams. Now the big question is, did Ben manage to talk to his players yet? I have the feeling that's not the case. Oh, Benny and the boys, we took down several. Very well-rested, sober parting about to join <laughs> here against Armani. But it gets picked off before it connects. That's a nice Ooh. taste of sportsman parting. Some bailings from the backside. Oh, oh, oh. oh. The bailings there. That was so dangerous. He sent the balls into his own stalk of cluster. This one here is straight savage. After he roaches, he'll probably ravage. Could probably pose on the cover of Vogue. It's the mother effing sexy boy, Rogue. All of the crushing defeats. One in four times against a reigning GSL champ, they will be able to cheese him out with the stupidest build they could possibly think of from a gold league replay. And all of the ace matches. Australia has done it. I think we're going to have to go to the ace match. Oh, the ace match! Oh my god, oh my god. I hope somebody's gonna bring <laughs> warty food at some point today. Way too much StarCraft is just not enough StarCraft. Oh, the ball is landing go. massive hits, but the Biles, oh my god, those Biles landed massively. Neuroparasite, get out of here. That's disgusting. Get out of here. Let's see what the bailing drop can get done. Yes. Boom. But that is so much Ling Bane, but Widowmind's getting very juicy shots off. Oh, 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 oh. Ling Rampai did so much more damage to the front line than I think even Cyril anticipated. Oh, His tank game, is good oh. game, and yeah, get them tanks. Big spread for big game. I hate it. All the Protoss is melting away. Is this it? QQ. Oh! All the Cyclones are getting innovation. Still so steal the Battle Cruisers. He's down 30 to 5. And Mark actually wins. Are you kidding? That's some StarCraft right there. That's some StarCraft, baby. Oh. <laughs> what a game. Hey everyone, I am so excited to finally be able to share with you a project I've been working on over the last few months, The Caster's Civil War. Rotti uh, talked to me back in July about uh, maybe doing a new version of the War Chess Team League, which is what Caster's Civil War is inspired by, and I couldn't agree more. The War Chess Team League was an event that everybody loved, and I don't think I've been asked ever as much about a follow-up to an event as I have the War Chess Team League, because it was something that was so unique and different with casters drafting teams of players and then slinging insults at each other and dropping memes and just in general having a really good time. It was its own thing. It was a great format. It was something new. It was something fresh. It was a completely new perspective on StarCraft. I think we can really capture that essence with the Caster Civil War once again, as I'm going to be joined by all of your favorite casters once again drafting teams and going to battle. And I'm sure there's going to be some new memes. You know, Benny and the boys. Will the same boys be back again? Probably not, for example, right? And one of the reasons I'm really excited is that I feel like we can do something more with this than we did with the War Chess Team League. And I mean, take this trailer as an example. We're not restricted by Blizzard. And while Blizzard were amazing for monetary support with the War Chess money, it was kind of a process. Every single time I wanted to do something, it had to go through so many different stages of people. And that's just how a big corporation works. Now that it's our own event, we can do our own thing, we can do our own content, we can make videos, we can just have so much fun and there's just so, no restrictions or no kind of hoops to jump through or anything like that. We can just focus on the, making this event as fun and as amazing as possible. So one of the downsides obviously of not being partnered with Blizzard, even though we are going to have freedom, is going to be the prize money and just the funding for the event. And there's a lot that goes into making this event happen. First, we've got to have a prize pool for the players to get them involved. We're also hoping to be able to raise a bit of money to have a caster's prize pool so the casters can win some money if their teams do well. Because obviously, while we will be streaming the event and everyone will be allowed to stream on their own channels while their games are playing or they can cast the games themselves of other teams if they would like to, it would be nice if we can say, hey, look, there's some prize money for the casters as well. You guys will also get a little bit out of it. In order to help run the event, we're going to try and crowdfund it and we're going to have a Kickstarter. And what we're going to use that Kickstarter for is, like I say, to really get this event rolling. So the event will begin with a guaranteed $10,000 prize pool and that is before any crowdfunding. So this event will happen with $10,000 prize money, 
But what the crowdfunding allows us to do is to raise the prize pool and to also cover some of the costs of the event. I'm already a few thousand dollars deep in costs for stuff such as graphical work and video editing. And obviously we want to do a lot more of that to make the event feel really special and to stand out and to make this memorable because it is such a fun event and we can make so much fun content around it. There's also other costs I expect to have, such as hiring an admin to help run the event and make it just a lot more smooth. And obviously, the more prize money we can raise, the more players and the better the players are going to get involved. So while $10,000 prize pool to start with is an amazing kind of foundation, the better we can do, just the better this event is going to be. And we really want to make this something really, really amazing. So we're beginning with the $10,000 base prize money. All the values I talk about now are obviously just crowdfunding only values. So our main goal is $20,000, which would increase the prize pool to $25,000. So $15,000 of what is crowdfunded would be going straight to the prize pool or $5,000 minus some transaction fees, etc. basically goes towards recouping costs. At that stage, I'm still taking a hit just from initial setup, but that's absolutely fine because obviously the stream will make some money back and stuff as well. What we really want to focus on is raising the prize pool. I just also want to be clear that not all of it is going to go directly into the prize pool. So there will be some small portion that continues into other things. Some of the fun things to keep you guys entertained along the way is basically, uh, first of all, we're going to have a cast of free for all to determine the draft pick order. If we get to $10,000, we'll also add additional video content pieces with players and casters for during the tournament as well. And obviously that first kind of chunk of money helps to cover the initial costs of running the event. From there, at $30,000, we will increase the prize pool another $5,000. So this time $5,000 is going to go elsewhere. But this time the caster prize pool is going to be introduced and that's going to start at $3,000 and that will continue to be about 10% of the player prize pool or thereabouts. And of course, it's great to give back to the casters who are going to be giving so much of their time to this. At $40,000, we will have an additional all-star tournament featuring one player from each team. So just something a little bit extra fun. And at $50,000, if we get that far, we will look into making caster merchandise available with some of the graphics we have made. They're really awesome, and I think you're going to like them. That's the rough idea on the Kickstarter, so do check that out. There will be tiers as well, so you get a few rewards. Nothing fancy. I'm not in a position to go shipping out merchandise or anything. There's going to be very kind of normal rewards, such as you can get the replay pack for the event. You'll be able to pick a team so that actually, you know, each cast will be given like a list of people and be like, hey, you guys are official supporters of team rotterdam for example you know and we'll do something fun with that maybe on the graphics as well we can laugh at fear dragon who has only one team fan which is himself or something you know you, you know we'll have a good time we'll also do some extra stuff where you guys can submit video rewards or submit video questions and uh, all the rest so obviously all we'll check out the kickstarter it will have all of that information one last thing i want to talk about is just a little bit about a couple of the changes we're making to the event or the general outline of the event we're going to aim to have eight teams so eight casters picking teams of five players so in the war chest team league we had the ace issue which is where team serral uh, sorry the war pigs that's one of my favorite parts of the trailer that ace kind of factor was a big deal this time around we're going to have five players per team and every player plays one map guaranteed so there is no ace match where somebody gets revived with eight caster teams that means 40 players will be involved in total in the war chest team league we had nine teams of four players each which was 36 players so this is a slight extension on the amount of players to take part that's one of the major changes otherwise it's going to be very similar to the war chest team league we will still go to a six team playoff bracket every team will play everyone in the group stage casters will be casting their own matches on the main stream which will be on my channel like I say, casters are very welcome to cast on their channel, but they can stream other matches on their channel. I don't want this to just be like, this is a warty TV event. Yes, I'm running it, and yes, I'm putting up a lot of the initial costs, but I want this to be a community event. I want this to be something that everyone enjoys and everybody benefits from. Any ad revenue I make on any of these days for these events will be going directly into funding the tournament. We will be taking a higher percentage of subscriber money, from each day that the uh, Caster Civil War is on my channel and putting that into the event. And we will also be taking any donations during the Caster Civil War broadcast on my stream and putting 100% of those into the event as well. So again, this is not about me trying to make money. This is very much so us trying to make a really badass event, something that we can all love and just celebrate the amazing game of StarCraft 2 that we all love so, so much. So with that said, guys, I hope you're all excited about Caster's Civil War. I do think it's going to be an event that everybody loves. I think it's something we can really make amazing. 
and I hope you guys feel like it might be worth supporting just a little bit. I'm just really excited for it. It's been stressful getting everything underway and set up. We will obviously have more announcements uh, for players and signups and stuff like that in the future. Uh, so keep your eyes on Twitter and TL.net, etc. But otherwise, we hope you enjoy the cast of Civil War. We hope you enjoyed the trailer. And I hope you're really freaking excited for the casters to start insulting each other again as they go to battle for the Caster Championship.